Hello my man gives some followers, this is Barton3775 here bringing you another paper game update video. In today's paper game update video I'm going to be joined by... JPG System. Yeah, special guest here today. JPG System. Okay. Alright, so today's video is going to be a video where we um... talk about how we are leaving the paper game community but joining a paper game community. That sounds confusing. Don't worry, we will discuss it in a moment. So, without further ado, we're gonna get to a discussion, and yeah, we'll see you there. All right, we're back. Spartan three seven seven five here, and JPG system. And we're gonna get into a discussion about the paper game community, why we're leaving it, <coughs> and the new paper game community that we'll be discussing. So, <coughs> first, uh, I'll start us off about the paper game community. So, if you don't know, the paper game community is a community of many um, imaginative and creative folks who create paper games. Paper games are essentially video games that are on paper. We have our own gaming con paper gaming consoles. We create our own games. We share them with each other on YouTube. All that kind of stuff. Um, one of the reasons why we're leaving the paper game community, especially us two, is um, because of the quality of the games that are coming out now. And there were so many people in it, and it just kept getting cramped, so we wanted to make a new one that's much more formal. Yes, exactly what he said. The The Paragon community is getting too packed that we can't even keep track of who is in it anymore, and we're not even getting content from each other because we have no idea who is in it. So, yeah, one reason that we're leaving the paper game community is because, as I said, the quality of the games. Most of the games that are coming out now are just like an index card, literally. Like handhelds. Yeah, handhelds. We're only making handhelds now. Some people said, oh, the handhelds are the evolution of the paper games community or whatever. I don't, we don't think that's the case. Yes, he's made tons of portables, but his were actually, you know, not to down anybody else, but his were decent. They're pretty good. I don't mean to call anybody out, but I want to point out one game in particular. That game is MMO P RPG or P MMOPG created by Anri or Dead Anri 17172. And uh, we ch and I changed the name to SQRPG for Survival Quest for RPG. Yep. Um, if you guys don't know, Anri 17172 made a game called MMOPG, and he made one called MMORPG. His is essentially the same game, but with a lot more features added to it. And the original MMOPG, let's talk about that for a second. Before I say that, disclaimer. Oh, I do not want to, um, like, discourage or give too much hate on Dead Android, uh, Dead Android 1772 game, 2's games. But, um, that one game in particular, MMORPG, or MMOPG. That game was essentially an index card, alright? It was a single index card, which had a box on it and two buttons, or like a D-pad and two buttons. He had released, I think, two to three trailers for that game. He had copyrighted the name, declaring no one can copy it. Um, and he made so much hype for that game, and when he released, I especially was disappointed. The game was a single index card with a screen, which the box wasn't even, like, even. It was just a sloppy mess. Same thing with the D-pad and the button. The world was tiny. You had an experience bar and some money or whatever. And then it was a tiny world. You didn't get any instruction on how to build stuff, the buildings, or anything. And, um... Crap, what was I going to say? No, that's not it. Um, is this part gonna be edited out or no? No, it won't be. No. We're having a discussion here, by the way, guys. Um. So yeah, the game was not made formally. Crap. Well, do you want do you want to talk to them about something until I remember it? I I can't think of anything right now. I'm 
Sorry about this mo sorry about this guys, I just had a total brain fart, I just forgot what I was gonna say about the game. Um Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Um, crap. Okay, well, do you want to talk to them about Paper Dynasty? Because I just had, I, I just forgot everything right there. Okay, so Paper Dynasty was created by Matt Lego. Uh, I think he changed his name to the Matt Zone. Yeah. And so, Matt Lego was basically made, like we, like she said, the old paper game was very, like, there's so many people, it was unorganized, and so he basically made it and made it better. Um, no new people can join until November, he said. And in order to get in, it doesn't even have to be a long paper game. You just have to show that you have the ability to make a good paper game. Um, and the people that are in it right now, um, I, I think, is me, um, Spartan... Sorry, I forgot the numbers. Three cents and five. Just me. Yeah. Yeah. You. Um, obviously Matt. Uh, KCOKT. I'm pretty sure Ninjaksu. Uh, and am I missing anyone? Someone named Gamerboy. Gamerboy. Okay. And then one more person. I can't remember his name. Yes. So. And we don't know how this is going to turn out. But we're trying to make the system where we, if we had the game, it was going to be called Dynasty Dollars. Yeah, possibly. Where you would, if you make a paper game and uh, and have people play it on the system, then you, let's say you get, depending on the game, let's just say five uh, Dynasty Dollars. You could use those Dynasty Dollars to play other people's games. You can use it to get a controller. You can use it to get any add-ons um, for whatever game you're playing. And the way that we're that, um, this is just an idea, but the way that I thought we might play them is by taking a picture or scanning it and uploading it to Google, to Google Docs so everyone can just go on and do that. So. Yeah. Also, you're thinking of if <clears throat> we might possibly share a common console that I've created and if we don't that's totally okay but either way I, th I think that we should have a like an online system called Dynasty Interactive you see how we're making those Dynasty puns um, Dynasty Interactive which would be like Xbox Live or PSN or whatever um, mm -hmm. and, and tell us in the comments below if you guys, if you guys think because I say I don't really care so I think it's fine if we all share one console you guys can do whatever you want. Yeah, if you're in the Paper Dynasty. Yes. Um, yeah, well... Do you want to show them the logo? Yes, yes, I'll do that. Um, yeah, so, before I show you the logo, I want to say, again, a quick reminder about the Paper Dynasty. Um, if you want to join, I apologize. Too bad. If you want to join... Again, like uh, J uh, Jacob said, November. And also, I'm going to talk with Matt, and there might be a requirement, which I think will be attending PGC University, which will be run by me, and having one paper game, at least one paper game that's decent, and has to be rated by the community, and has to be at least like a 7 or something higher out of 10. Um, yeah. Yeah. Also, we're going to be having a community channel called Paper Dynasty, of course. And, um, yeah, hopefully, everyone in Paper Game Dynasty will have, Paper Game Dynasty, I don't know what happened there, will have access to it so they can post their videos on it. If not, then we can post on our individual channels. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to be posting both on Paper Dynasty and my new channel, which will be called Paper Dynasty Max. And so, yeah, look out for that channel, guys. So, like Jacob said, I'll show you guys the logo that I designed. Guess I'm doing a lot of the stuff in this community. 
to focus. See that guys there? It looks like a PlayStation logo. It's got the P and the D for Paper Dynasty. Here's a a gold and silver version, and then here's just some prototypes. But here are the two big ones, the two main ones. All right. So yeah, um, JP, uh, Jacob and I, we have decided that we in the Paper Game Desi Dynasty will have our own console. Now, I really don't want to show too much off because it was already revealed twice, but, um... And we're probably going to make a trailer of it soon. Yeah, we're going to make a trailer of it. Hopefully, probably not today, but probably tomorrow. But I'm, I'm not working on it today. Probably tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to reveal anything. The controller, because if you guys have been paying attention to this guy's videos, you'll have seen the controller twice. Yeah. Uh, but I'll have a trailer for it, um... Sometime this week, I'll try to, as again, I'll try to get it today, um, definitely by this week, and it will show the controller, the console, show everything, and I've already made three controllers for it, and that might not sound like much, but I've spent lots of time with this controller, it takes lots of patience, you need, it's not just cutting out cardboard, yeah, font. that's not it, yeah, it's a really, really interesting concept. No one has used this concept before. The triggers, the joysticks are unique. It has a yeah, an in and out function. It has a attachment. It's wired, um, and it's got a good amount of buttons. Mm -hmm. Two joysticks. One can be um, taken in and out, and it's actually inspired by a real life console. Um, I'm going to tell you the name in a minute, but I want everyone except Jacob, Matt, and I to guess what the, what console is inspired from. If you can get it, then, I don't know. Actually, no, I'll tell you. Um, before I do that, though, I am doing a giveaway of a developer's kit for the console. Especially if you want to be, if you want to join the community, um, and you want to use my console because my console, by the way, guys, top of the line quality here. Um, I'll be doing a um, giveaway, sorry, that will be of a developer's collection edition controller, which is all red, and a console, which is all red, plus a 100 stack of paper and a 64 pack of crayons or a 24 pack of color pencils, whichever, guy, whichever one you want. And also a like pack of mechanical pencils, like those fancy ones with the grips and stuff and the twisty erasers. Um, like, yeah, Jacob has one. Yeah, just like this guy? Yeah, like that. Top of the line quality cannot get better than this. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the giveaway will be um, definitely sometime after the trailer is released. And th if you want to be in it, you have to comment in the video, which you will get one vote in. If you guess the if you guess the real life inspiration, I'll give you an extra vote. And also, I'm not forcing this on you guys, but just to raise money, if you guys send in any money, one dollar will be five votes. I mean, five um, in enterings, five whatevers. Um, it's going to be a totally honest um, pulling. I will not rig it. It will be just, I will show you that every single name is in there. I'll put it in. I'll shake it up. And I'll just, I'll, I won't even get me. I'll get someone else to pick out of there. And then we'll say the name. I swear to God, guys, this will be a honest giveaway. And yeah. If you guys do decide to send in money, I, you, probably, you guys probably won't send in like hard cash. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't expect anyone to send in, uh, money anyway, but anyway, guess the name of the Real Life Inspiration, get an extra vote, comment on the trailer, or no, the giveaway video, get it, and then get a vote, and it will be probably like a week after that giveaway video, you'll get, um, then I'll do the drawing. You guys, if you guys want the console, if you guys, like, comment to get in there, 
make sure you guys are okay with me having your address so I can send it to you. I'll probably have like your address on like a little like note on the desktop or whatever, and I'll as soon as I send it to you, I will delete it. I swear, guys, I'm not we're we're not some like creeps or whatever that will like like hunt you down or whatever. What do you guys may think? Um, just like what Isaac did. You guys trusted Isaac to give him your games, like Casey, like Keiko Kichi did. You guys are gonna have to trust me if you want my console, and I'm telling you guys, it's totally worth it. So I just talked a lot, so Jacob, do you want to show them your game, or do you want to wait? Because that's totally okay with me. Um, I guess I can show them the, so right here, I can show them the cover page and the first page, I guess. Yeah. Once you get the page full, you're going to get an achievement. And I was, I haven't started working on it yet, but if I do make another paper game, I was going to try to link all my paper games. So let's say all the money you have in here or some of the cars you get in this game, you can transfer over to the new game if I make it. So it's just an idea that all of my paper games are going to be linked somehow. All right, cool. Alright, so one thing I wanted to say, I'm doing yet another giveaway, but this giveaway, if you guys seen my, like, last two, three videos, like, last three videos, Heroes Conquest, you guys seen this game before? Um, it's an MMORPG, and I'm going to be doing a Collector's Edition giveaway. Now, um, the Collector's Edition... Just like any other Collector's Edition you get for like, I don't know, like Destiny, Halo, whatever you got, whatever Collector's Edition you guys get. It's going to have a few special things. Um, I finished one of them. I'm working on the second item. And the third item, I can do relatively easily. But again, you, uh, actually, you everyone gets one vote if they want it. And I'm also going to be doing a competition, which will be make... In um in one in one week, make a paper a paper game that's on one piece of paper, front and back, whatever you want, but one regular piece of paper. Just like what if it's like six by eight inches or something, just like one regular piece of paper, make a paper game on it. And you get one week. And so we're not, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, keep going. And so we're not saying make like a bunch of little squares and fill them back on the paper game. I mean, if your paper game is like that, of course go ahead. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Don't make your... When you make this, uh, I want you guys to scan the game on a printer or a Google Doc or whatever. Send it to me. I will print out the game and I will play it. I will grade it on um, playability, artistic ability, how well I can read it, the content of the game, and the replayability. Five things. And I'll just I'll give one point for each, and the the person in first place will get three will get three additional votes. Second place will get two votes, um, and last place will get one. Uh, third place will get one vote. If you don't get in first, second, or third, I apologize. You'll get no votes. Now again, I will accept some donations for bonus votes. Again, five votes for a buck. But again, I don't expect anyone to get it. But it's gonna be a really cool collection edition. You'll get a Heroes Conquest controller. Um. Console, wait, no, no, you'll get the game, the three items, the and the disc, and a season pass, which will be for the two character DLCs, and the map DLC, which will be about the size of a small world, which is going to be pretty big. Um, 
And I'm not sure, because I know I'm doing, like, I've already given you guys two giveaways, but I think I'm going to be doing a, a like, a gold edition console, or, like, a Heroes Conquest edition console or something. I don't know, but I'm going to do something cool like that. Gold yes, gold markers, and definitely. Also, I don't think you know this, but if you guys want to, I was going to make a video on this on my channel, but I thought, why not just say it here? I was going to just give my, um, some of my handhelds away because I never play them anymore. And so if you guys want them, um, maybe I, if it's okay with you for one vote, it could be one paper game. You could just say which one you want, and then the, maybe the first person to say it can get it. I don't know. Just an idea. Yeah. Well, to add on that... What about, like, everyone gets a certain amount of votes and they place those votes in different games and then you do a polling or something? Just a, just a suggestion. Um, Whatever you want. I think that it kind of cut out. Um, everybody gets a certain amount of votes and they place those votes in different games and then you do a polling on it. Oh, yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, maybe I'll make a video on that. Alright, um... I still can't even think of that thing I was going to say for MLPG. Whatever. Um, so I know we did a lot of talking, not a lot about Paper Dynasty, so let's just do a quick talk about that. Paper Dynasty is a group of elite paper game members, especially veterans like KCOKT, Matt, and I, um, and people with good artistic abilities. We will be making quality paper games. You guys want to like watch our videos, get inspiration from our games, go ahead. Um, I will be copywriting my games if I, like, if, if it's an original idea like Heroes Conquest, I'm, co I'm going to copyright it. Not because I want to be a, like a, I'll catch up. I don't want to say, okay, I don't want to be a jerk about it, but I want to copyright my games. He so that people to know that he actually made it because he put a lot of time into it. Yeah, especially Heroes Conquest. I know I started that game like a couple weeks ago, like four weeks ago. But, um, this game is going to take a while, so, and I've already copyrighted it, so, don't get any ideas if you're in the paper game community, because technically, Paper Dynasty, we are in no affiliation with the PGC anymore. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're in a group of elite members, we will be having our own consoles, I hope, maybe, we'll see, um, making our own games, we will release our games, hopefully we'll be actually distributing our consoles and our games, Etc. Etc. I I so far like I don't know why, but in the peer game community, when I was in the peer game community, I was the only one that ever had the intention to to distribute or distribute sorry distribute my consoles because I made like when I had my ZPM Turbo, I made like four three of them. But anyway, anyway, um, I'll be again trailer tomorrow or today or tomorrow. And then yeah, update videos. Anything? Any uh, videos you wanna? Say they're on your schedule? Um, uh, I'll probably make a video of the voting if you guys want my, any of my handhelds. But, yeah, and I might make an update video for my GCAE. Cool, cool. I mean, I expect a couple videos in the next, like, you know, like four or five videos or so in the next two weeks, I guess? Probably next week. Or in the next week. Um, I got nothing else to add. But, yeah, um, yeah, I don't want to remind you guys, I've already said it like three times, but our videos coming up soon, please comment, like, and subscribe to both of our videos, uh, channels, and I think we'll see you later, we'll catch you in the outro now, so, later guys. Alright guys, it's Max and... And we are here for our outro thingy. We're thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's like like 20 minutes long or something like that. Like. And if you've made it here all the way to the end, comment hashtag bacon for no reason. Yes, yes, do that. Hashtag what, bacon? Hashtag bacon. Hashtag bacon, all right. If you made it to the end of the video, please comment hashtag bacon to show, oh gosh, I'm trying to hold this, to show your appreciation uh, for us to show your appreciation. Um, so, yeah, as you just said, like, comment, share, and subscribe to both of our channels. And we will see you in the next video. Alright, guys, later. Peace.